Doke. So rather than, when you have an equation that's in standard form, does everybody agree with me that this is in standard form? Yes? yes? OK. Since this is in standard form, yes, we could complete the square to rewrite it in vertex form. However, another method that I want you guys to one write down, and I also need you to make sure that you have memorized before you take your test, is this basic formula. Axis of symmetry is always going to be, in standard form, opposite of b divided by 2a. Always. Opposite of b divided by 2a. So if I just wanted to find the axis of symmetry, I would just take opposite of 14 divided by 2 times negative 1 half. And that's it. So when I go ahead and plug this in, 2 times negative 1 half is going to be negative, uh, I'm sorry, negative 1. Negative 14 divided by negative 1 is going to be positive 14. Right? Yes? So now if I was going to graph this, actually, well, yeah, let me talk about the graph here for a second. If I was going to graph this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's where my axis of symmetry would be. Right? Now, here's a really, 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 really important question. Victoria, what do you know about the relationship, or what do you think if you remember, what is the, uh, the relationship of the axis of symmetry and the vertex? Think of the graph. Look at a graph. Look, look at the graph that we just did of our quadratic. Right? That one had a 4, negative 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That looks something like that. What is the relationship? What is anything you can tell me about this axis symmetry and that little point, the vertex? It's not usually. It's always. The vertex is always on the axis of symmetry. So what coordinate point then would they share? An x coordinate point? Or the y coordinate point? Yep. The x. And if you guys remember that, remember the vertex we always said was h comma k, right? And the axis symmetry was x equals h. They, rep they share h, right? So what I, want you, what I want you guys to understand is this line is the x coordinate of our vertex. Do you guys agree with me? So our vertex, if I want to find the vertex, is going to be 14 comma something. Now, how do we figure out what that is? How do we figure out what the y, if we know what the x coordinate is, how do we find out what the y coordinate is? Plug it in. Exactly. Think about it. If I gave you guys something like this and I asked the same question, if I know x is 1, what's y? Right? You take 1 and you plug it into this, correct? So we're basically asking you guys, what I'm asking you guys to do is find, if I know 14, let's plug in 14 into this and see what we get. OK? So I have 14 times 14 um, is going to be 196, I believe. Yes? Anybody have a calculator? I believe 14 times 14 is 196. And times it by negative 1 half. Oh, you guys are making me do a lot of math. Would be 98, negative 98. Yeah, 14 times 14 is around 196. OK, so if I multiply, so basically, let's erase this here. So to find the vertex, I can do y equals negative 1 half times 14 squared plus four, oops, times 14 times 14 minus 13. So 196 divide, times negative, so this is 196 times negative 1 half gives me ni negative 98? Yes. yes. OK. Plus 196 minus 13. So that's going to give me um, negative 111. Which is going to give me 85. Now, I just made up this problem to go through. However, you guys can see that 85, negative 14 to 85 is going to be my vertex. Now, the problems you guys are doing on your homework are not going to be anything like this. 
But what I want to help you guys out with this is, so basically just by doing this, we're able to find the axis of symmetry. And all again you have to do, just to review, you just do opposite of b divided by 2a. Then you take that value, you take that value and write it in as the x coordinate of your vertex. Then you take that value, plug it into your equation to find the y coordinate. Yes? Yes? No? OK. Then if I was going to ask you to graph this, do you guys remember what we talked about when you're looking into graphing? All you simply need to do, if I was going to create a table, remember all we need to do is if this is the axis of symmetry, right? all we simply need to do is pick two points to the left or two points to the right, find what those y coordinates are, and then reflect them over. right? So if, you wanted, if we were going to graph this, I would just pick two points to the left, and maybe I'd pick two points to the right. And I would just plug in these two points, figure out what they look like, and then I can go ahead and graph them. Does that make sense? Yes? No? Kind of? We're going to do some practice with these. Um, the other thing is let's go ahead and practice finding the uh, maximum or minimum. So if my vertex is 14, 85, what is that a max or is that a min? Think about it. Is the graph opening up or is the graph opening down? Now you're opening down. So it would be a Why is it opening down? Because you have a negative coefficient. Very good. It's negative right here, so it's opening down. So since it's opening down, my vertex is a? Uh, it's 14, 85. And it, but the parabola will be going down. So is this a maximum or a minimum point? So it's a maximum. Correct. So that's a maximum point. Domain, we know is going to be all real numbers. Domain is going to be all real numbers. Range, remember, is since this graph is opening down, I just want you guys to envision it. The graph is opening down. What is How low is this graph going to go? Negative infinity. And what's the highest y coordinate it gets to? 85. And that's included. Okay. One last thing I want to get over with you guys, and this will be the this will be the highlight of everything. If does anybody know what the vertex form of that equation would be? Anybody want to try it? Try to see if you guys can write this in vertex form. Write this equation in the vertex form. Now think about it. You know what the vertex is. So if I gave you the vertex, can you rewrite it in vertex form? Remember vertex form. y equals a times x squared minus b, or x squared minus, or sorry, x minus h squared plus k. Remember, all, if you know what h and k is, you can write it in vertex form. And then think about what a would be. I can see, does anybody have it? Anybody try it? So if you can find the vertex, yeah, it looks pretty good. Good. So vertex form is? y equals negative 1 half is still a. And then remember, it's x, opposite, it's x minus h plus k. So x minus 14 squared plus 85. You guys agree with me? Yes, no, maybe so? 